en una, en dos, y en las. <laughs> Let's go. It's a live podcast, the most authentic, most organic podcast out here, baby. We have like 30,000 people in here for our last show. I love you guys. Saludos a todos. This is your homie, Dusko. This is your boy, Dylan. You already know. Du Dylan Lokes. <laughs> It's Supreme Dylan. <laughs> no, what, what other one did he say? He said um, Supreme. Dylan Lokes. Um, shout out Jakarta, bro. That Jakarta, like legend. That. Legend in the game. Singer. Artist. Entrepreneur. Comedian. comedian. But um, this, we're, we went back to, to the roots. We are recording this podcast. We're on live right now on our TikTok. If you haven't, go make sure you follow there. Follow on IG. Subscribe. Because, again... The title of this episode is Our Farewell. This is it. This is a wrap. It's crazy. I don't, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go either, but we kind of have to. But um, it, it's been a crazy journey, 2022, that I don't, I've, would have never have anticipated to the extent that we went through. It's... It's been a crazy as year. Can you like put the microphone love closer to you, bro? This is like episode eighty five, and he's still like learning this, bro. I'm not. I just don't like things in my mouth. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> we're drinking our, you know, our favorite because it's just how we do things. So if you have your cafecito, make sure you're taking a toast. You're cheering. But uh, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a crazy ass year, and to be honest, we have gotten so much out of this year that we did not expect. I think the, personal growth. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely personal growth. You know, growth as a team because usually we're always we're always together and stuff. We're so. Everybody knows it as a chicle. Yes, sir. So, I mean, after a while, you get tired of someone, but. <laughs> I tried kicking this motherfucker out a couple of times, and it's too hard. <laughs> you know, um, going in, we're going to, this podcast, this last episode, we're just going to, like, try to attack different topics that, you know, we learned throughout the journey that we experienced firsthand. So the first one, starting off with, is personal growth. Not knowing the potential that we could have, that we had in instilled in us by the journey that we went through. Because it, it's not always going to be rainbows, butterflies. It's not always going to be a return right away. We stepped foot into LA, I believe, like a month prior to 2022. And then we went full on LA, full on every weekend, never missed. And, you know, it, it challenges you because as a person without knowing how to handle a business, a social media platform, the way we've been handling it, this is all new to us. Uh, it's still new to us. We're still learning as we go. But with the podcast and the movement growing, we grew. So when you nourish your baby, right, you, you nourish your, your business, your platform, your business, you're going to literally grow it into whatever and however much love you've showed it. And in a whole year, we, we literally accomplished this. And the growth that one has, and this is what the suggestion to everybody, is the growth that you once doubted that you could attain is always going to surpass that imagination. But you will never obtain that until you really, really get into that and into that zone. Because, man, we're we're still we were kids, bro. I, I, as much as adults as we say we were, we were kids in this industry. I still I still have the picture one. I was in, no, when we started in L.A. <laughs> I still have the, pic, I have the picture when I was, I was, I was on the podcast like the, for the first time. And then I have the picture when we're like a couple months in L.A. or probably like the first month in L.A. Yeah. We look so damn young. We were 50 pounds lighter. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was pretty skinny. So for growth, what, like, for you, what do you think that growth was, though? Uh... To be honest, I mean, I, I can say I'm pretty mature, but I kind of, I matured more in a mental self-care state, you mm -hmm. know? 
usually I was kind of, I was basing my emotions and stuff on someone or something. And now I'm just like, you know what? That's, that's, that's not it. I'm not going to happen this year. This year is me. It's like they always say, I'm, he- I'm in a healing journey, which, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's not wrong. Okay. But <laughs> I'm not trying to bash anyone down, but you know, it's at the end of the day, it's you versus you. And you got to look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and see if you're satisfied. If you're not, then you better get trashed up the next day and go change that. Cause you know, only you can do it, bro. No one else can do it for you. So yeah, that, the, that part of healing yourself throughout your journey. So now going to that healing part, we enter this journey, this pod, this platform when I would, and I would honestly say me and Dylan were lost in our own life. Personally, um, financially, uh, mentally, physically, we were just lost. And it, it doesn't mean we were just sitting, sitting down at home, not doing anything. It's just, we were working, but we didn't know what we were working towards. There was, there was no set in stone uh, what this was going to be, and he's not going to let me lie. When I hit him up about coming to L.A., I tell him, yo, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know what exactly is going to happen. All I know is it's going to pay off. It's just going to take some time. So the healing part came throughout that journey. The healing part was going every weekend, feeling still lost, not knowing what direction we were going in, not knowing what direction I was going in, because it, it it's to that point where you give advice, but you don't know how to take it. We were giving advice. I was giving advice, but at the same time, I couldn't take it myself. I would get in situations where, man, you know what? That advice that I just gave somebody else was tested. So the healing came with learning how to let go of situations that I had no control over, learning how to handle what I could handle at one time, not three, four, five things at one time, because como, like our parents said, que mucho abarca, poco, something, right? Que mucho abarca, po, uh, poco, recoge tu cuarto. <laughs> uh, whatever that phrase was, but the more you put on your plate, you know, the less, the less of a quality you're going to give it. The less you can handle. Yes, the less you can handle, because we can go, we can do five other things, but, all those five things are not going to be perfection because we're trying to split ourselves in, in, in every other thing. Who's, I think who said this? I think it was Mike that said it. Shout out to my homeboy, Mike Barron. That's right. He said, you can do anything. You can you just can't do everything. Mm. Exactly. Mm. That's exactly what, what you were trying to say right now. Just yeah. To sum it up. So the, to not get away from this, because I know I tend to usually get away from, from what we're trying to talk about, what I'm trying to talk about. The healing part came when I realized what the purpose was and what my purpose was. That's, that's the key word, purpose. Yes. It, that was the healing part. The healing part was learning how to let go of situations and people and realizing to be present in the moment. And it wasn't a day, one day to another. It took time. And just like everything that is great and that is worth it, it takes time. It doesn't come from one morning to the next. It Literally takes time, it takes work, it takes effort, it takes love, it takes caring, it takes everything in your body and your soul in order to heal. And that like that was the healing part that I that I felt. Jeez. For me, healing came in a lot of different ways. Um, healing came with finding a purpose, mm. you know, which was a very, very big thing. But um Healing all, like, at the end of the day came to finding myself, being confident with myself. X. And for once, as a, I was, what, 22, 21? 22. 20, yeah, 22. 22. As a 22-year-old that doesn't really get out there, I was experiencing LA like never before. I think we both, I think we both did. Yeah. That, that was that, that, it was a tricky part because it was learning how to balance everything and to a point, like, we actually had to have a conversation ourselves. Like, if you don't have friends that got it, that check you, mm-hmm. when you're fucking it up, then then they're not your friends. They don't care about you. They don't care about your future. They don't care about your well-being. But when you have friends that, not in front of everybody, when they pull you to the side and they tell you personally what you're doing may not be correct, those are the people that love you. Sure. Now, there's a mis- misinterpretation of how people say it. 
there's a way to say things and there's a way to communicate. If you come at them sideways, of course, not going to end well. True. But if you come at them with nothing but love and respect and show them that you care, it, it, it turns out a lot better. So we had to go through that ourselves because we're brand new. Things are popping off, right? We started off we started off the year banging, right? There was a lot of trainers for self self made West Covina and that showed us a lot of love. And then it came into landing Duno. That was that was a turning point right there. That was that was a great turning point for us. From there, shout out Dre having Gage on the podcast which was the next turning point for all of us. And then from there, it's a, it was just a domino effect. So what people didn't under, don't understand, and ne- we've never really talked about it, was when your life kind of goes at 360 from not being known to getting into a bigger light, it changes. That means you got to maneuver a certain way. That means you cannot let the money and the fame change you. Ten toes down and keep moving on. Put your head down, keep working, don't lose your purpose, don't lose your strategy, don't lose your work ethic. Because just because you got a little bit of light now doesn't mean you get to celebrate. Celebrate the small wins, right? Which is what we do. We've always done it. But when it comes back to Sunday, Sunday night, Monday morning, we're back to the grind of what is next. Mm-hmm. Right? We went from a thousand subs to five thousand to ten thousand. And I literally thought, bro, like, we would celebrate so big, so big hitting these type of, like, marks. But we hit them. We, 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 tr- we tried to. I mean, we, we talked about it. We're like, dude, we're close to 10,000 followers. Like, bro. And we said to ourselves, like, bro, once we hit 10,000, we're going to get fucked up. We're going to celebrate. Yeah, bottles, everything, da 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 Bro, we hit 10K, and we were like, we just looked at each other like, dude, we're doing it. We didn't celebrate nothing. It was just like. And at the same time, I think it's because we were too busy, obviously, because of work, because of the podcast. What are we going to do this Saturday? How are we going to set it up and stuff like that? So it was like we celebrated, but it was more kind of like a satisfaction. Like, oh, okay, we had that. Yeah, like the, I was just telling, uh, shout out my boy from Baseball, Lemon Equis. Look at this, Guadalajara, showing his love from the beginning. There was always a point where we could have celebrated and taken a break, right? We hit Duno. We hit uh, Cisco. We hit Magali. We hit Jorge and Adri. We hit a Rosecrans Vic. We hit all these big people, Leo, Tony. Shout out to all them for, damn, for you good? Yeah, that happened. That's got too much. <laughs> but shout, out to, shout out to all of them for um, for giving us that type of love and, sh- and you know, coming on the podcast, sharing your story. We could have had every reason to take a break and wait a couple of weeks, but we went back to work every Monday. We went back to work to stay with the story, share the messages, and stay consistent. So when someone told us, like, bro, like, why didn't you take a break? Are you serious? We're in year one. This is year one. It's not. Imagine year five. Imagine year two, three, six, seven, whatever you want to call it. But year one, it may go good. But that's that turning point, whether you turn it up a notch and you keep going or you, you stay stagnant, you stay you settle down a little bit, you buckle down, and you're like, oh, I'm cool. No, no, no. If you did so good in year one, why, why slow down? Turn that shit up. Keep going. I just feel like some people are just satisfied with the bare minimum. That it's sad, bro. Like, oh, damn, I got 500 followers. That's good. I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, like it the from TikTok blowing up to IG blowing up, right? And the biggest obviously for everybody that's stays relevant and and you get a verification is cuz you have followers on IG. Yo, one thing about us, one thing about being to your purpose and serving your purpose is no matter what numbers you have as your followers, subscribers, you are who you are and no number, no no amount of money can change that. And a lot of people don't know what that is yet. True. A lot of people see 10,000, see a check of 1,000, or whatever the case is, and I'm big time. Remember where you came from. Remember where you came from. We're still two dudes that grew up in Bowling Park. Now we're just doing our thing in L.A. Podcast is based out of L.A., L.A. babies. But we don't remember, we don't forget where we came from. 
because that is an important part of what made us who we are, what makes us now. Now we just have a chip on our shoulder. Going into serving the purpose. Jesus, yeah, we're a little sleepy because this is at 1 in the morning. This is 1 in the morning going yeah. into one thirty. We had a long day. Monster, drinking. So, again, drink your cafecito. Here we are. Racking up the comments. Racking up the comments. We are on live also for people that don't know. What is this? What is this? Bam. Sheesh. How many, how many people are viewing? Three. Right now we have 4,000 likes, 16. Sure. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'll check that after, but appreciate everybody that's on right now. Um, Going into the purpose, did you figure out that purpose along our journey, and how did you do that? Uh, obviously, I found my purpose on the journey. And the way I found it was just mostly I'm a pretty young guy compared to the people that are on the podcast compared to this dude. 27. Um, yeah. He's like four years apart. When I was there with everyone in the room, I was obviously the youngest one. So I had to kind of, I looked up to everyone that was there. You know, I kind of just viewed the room, studied the room and be like, you know what? I like hanging out with older people. I like hanging out with these people. And like you said, you know, you got to hang out with the people that are, are going to motivate you or are going to push you to get further, you know? Yes, sir. So that was one kind of like little, let me say milestone to my purpose was just realizing that I was hanging out with these older people that I never really imagined to be like around with, you know? Mm-hmm. Especially in the podcast, especially with you or, dude, we never thought we would hang out nah. and even start a podcast. Like, my mom was last, like, was it three days ago? She's like, I never pictured you and Dusko starting a podcast. Like, what's, <laughs> what was that? I was like, dude, it, I have no idea. It's, you, you said it correctly, bro, and, and you say it to the dot, and you've been a, a student of, of school right now. And the school that we're in is life. Everybody that we've been around and the rooms that we've been in have been powerful. The only thing that we're there to do is learn from everybody and offer something. We're not there to take from everybody. We're not there just to use them for that moment and for the fame and for the followers. We're there because we have a purpose. We we see that they have a bigger purpose. And all we all we're there to do is build a relationship, share share their story, and learn from every single one of them. Because up until now, we've learned from every single one, every single person we have met up until right now. From being out in LA, learning from other people, right? Shout out Kanye Rombard, everybody in that place right there. Show us mad guys. love. I love you guys. Um, from there to traveling these last couple of days to San Diego, everybody up there, Chris, Gino, Mondo, uh, yes, Mike, everybody from that team and, and that side to now people like it's so crazy because now our own city and cities around our city and the SGV, you know, are starting to realize, yo, these guys are doing something. And again, you don't need everybody's verification and approval to follow your dream because more than likely they will not believe in it until they see results. So you have to keep going. You got to fight for it. You got to fight with everything inside you to make that happen. All that matters is, does it mean something to you? Or if you left it today, would you be affected? And we've talked about this, that if... This is the last episode, so it affects us in a big certain way. If this was to end, then this this we lose a part of us. But it goes into finding our purpose. We're here to serve. We're here to help. We're here to change people's lives and perspectives. And if we can do that in a positive way, then we did it. We said it today, heard it today. Success isn't measured by the amount of money you have. It's a it's measured by the amount of people you helped along your journey. And we we are here are now, we are here now, a whole year later, a whole 2022 to now, literally a couple days from, well, what is it, six, seven 23rd. days? No, eight, eight days. days. Eight days from 2023. And we've done it. To us, have, to, to me, we've done it. But it comes with building. 
building a circle, building an audience, building friends, building new relationships. I feel like metaphorically, I think you say it, metaphorically, we moved the mountain this year. And <laughs> oh, we, we definitely moved. moved the mountain this year, but yeah, to move that mountain, we moved every single damn stone that was in that mountain. And every single stone was a reason why we had to do this. You know, it was a lesson. It was friendships. It was people that we we got to know through the process. It was just a lot of stuff. And, you know, once once we move that mountain, that momentum is going. You know, that momentum does not stop. Yeah, and for everybody listening and piggyback off of what he just said, moving that mountain, it wasn't just – these two guys that you're seeing right here filming and being on the camera, it's everybody that was behind the camera and everybody that was watching, everybody that was listening, everybody that was sharing, subscribing, saving it, saving the videos, sharing the videos, commenting on the videos, liking it. Even if the comments were negative, you, you still helped. So it wasn't, it's not just us two, we're just in the front of it, but we have a whole team and family behind us we have a whole army behind us. True. And with all that, yo, we got to appreciate every single one of you guys, everybody that is listening to us. We are here because of you guys. We're not here on our by ourselves, on our, on our own, and we stumbled into this. We came into our light with our purpose, and then we f- we fell into your, your lap on your phone, on your earphones, because that's what the power above wanted. And it turns into the timing. Of things were meant to be because the power above, whatever you believe in, the power above allowed it and wanted that, right? So the mess, those people that messaged us that you were in a bad state of mind and, and almost quitting and we helped you in some sort of way, our messages helped you in some sort of way, yo, you are the real one. You are the one that, that deserves those flowers because you fought one more time, one more minute, one more second to live, to stay alive for whatever your reason is. So we helped you realize it, but you did all the work. So don't neglect that. Ever So if you're listening to this and you're one of those people, don't neglect the work that you've done because you're the one that woke up and got out of bed. You're the one that walked out of that door in your house, went to work, Want to go serve your purpose. Want to go serve your people. And you went to sleep to wake up another day. So you listening right now, we are so proud of you. We are so damn proud of you. And we hope one day, one day our paths do cross in person. And we get to share that story in person. And we get to give that love back. We get to give that hug that we all needed at one point of our life. So for those people that survived, we are proud of you. If you're listening to this, I'm proud of Dylan. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my homie Robbie that's sitting behind this camera with us at 1.30 in the morning. If you guys guys don't know Robbie, he doesn't really come out of the camera much, but if you guys don't know Robbie, Robbie's my cousin. That's my brother right there. That's his primo food. That's his primo. So you guys probably (laughs) see him in my stories. I love you, boo. I love love you, big guy. I love you. So serving... Serving your people and serving your purpose, right? That's what we just talked about. Going into the relationships, building, and finding your your circle, that's a whole nother thing. And a big one that I think we just miss is that that gratitude, that uh, that result, you know, the gratitude for having what you have and knowing that what you have was just meant to be at that time and what you didn't have was was not meant to be in your life for a certain reason and learning that lesson. True. Right? We had to learn that. That we had to let go of a lot of things yeah. <laughs> throughout our journey. So I'm the one always talking, Dylan, take this, bro. Talk to us about this. Learning how to let go of certain things. But pass me the erradura because a little guy okay, is dry out here. So we, got, we got to let go of certain things. <laughs> <laughs> I am letting go of this one. No, um, sorry, Dan, I kicked the damn. But um, what you were saying, we had to let go a lot of things, 
emotionally, mentally, Thanks. physically with people this year. Um, don't want to get too much into that. Don't need to. But, um, you know, like you said, if, if he's your homie and he's a person that cares about you and stuff like that, or even a family member that does that, if they want the best for you, they will let you know ahead of time, you know? Like, there's stuff that I didn't want to let go, and he noticed it, and vice versa. There's stuff that he had to let go, and I, and I noticed it, and I didn't come up like, yo, you know? Trying to let go, stop being stop being a little girl, and I didn't want to say, but nah, it's like, I came, I came pretty good. Like, you know what, bro? This is my advice to you. That's why you don't have me in the microphone, because I go <laughs> off. Um, I was like, bro, you know what? I think this is the best for you. You know, man, I love you so much. You can get through this. I'll help you out and stuff like that. So, ah, damn, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a quote I just had right now. Um, it's about letting go of that weight, you know. And it's 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 like it's what, what do you call that? It's, an, it's like an anchor in your life. Mm-hmm. If it's you holding have, you back from fucking happiness, exactly. Like. I don't know if y'all seen, but when a ship drops an anchor, it does not just drop one. It drops many anchors. Ooh. Yes. And it does not take only one anchor to stop you. It takes multiple. So you have to cut off all those damn anchors in your life to be able to get where you want to get, you know? And you're the captain of that ship, but you need staff members in that ship. That's your family. That's your friends. And you got you got to trust them with your heart, bro. Y con esa, espérame, espérame. Did you take it one? You... Hey, yo, pass me a shot, yo. <laughs> hey, Camille, pass me a shot, man. You want one? Yeah. Dylan doesn't, Dylan became a tequila guy because that's all I drink. I'm a, I'm a whiskey drinker and this one made me a tequila but drinker. With this one, everybody that's on TikTok, everybody that's watching or your cafe with, your, with okay, anything you're drinking, cool. here you go. Shot, shot, shot. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, toes. Rob, you good? Do this. <laughs> Hold on, uh, let, me open, let me open my, my happy dad. Wait, wait, but on the microphone, on the microphone, for everybody watching that's into ASMR. We're in the ASMR, we're in the ASMR right now. We're at 130 in the morning. 130 in the morning. Here we go. Open up a, a happy dad. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> I don't know. We on, um, bro. All right. So, I mean, we, we talked about letting go of people. We talked about growth. We talked about our purpose. We're talking about healing. And I, I, I don't think we can get enough of the part of healing. But we gonna, now we're going to hit self-doubt. For everybody watching, self-doubt. Oh, God. I'm going to say it in the most nicest way ever possible. That's rare. That's a, He never says that shit like that. So that's rare. You need to stop doubting your motherfucking self. Because you are powerful in everything you can fucking do in your life. I don't know who told you you can't. I don't know who told you you cannot do what you want to do. They just aren't you. So put this in perspective. Put it in your head. When you wake up in the morning, find out your purpose. Find out why the hell you're getting up every day. Even if you're tired, if you're hurting, if you're heartbroken, if whatever it is, get your ass up. Go ahead. Go to work. Get that shit done. That's the pod. No, no, wait, 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 what do you mean this the pod, yo? Damn, I came out fiery. <laughs> Someone said they're on here for 10 minutes. I said 10 seconds. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. She, she knows who she is. Nah, but... <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's all I needed here. I'm going to see. <laughs> but, no, no, no. So, it it's talking about our... You know you know what? They're, they're, let's switch this, bro. I, I know I hit this on a good note. But for the people watching and, and, and hearing this right now at whatever time, whether it's 6 in the morning, whether it's 5 at night, 10 at night, or whenever your work schedule is or allows you to listen to this, talking about faith. Oh, sheesh. About keeping faith when darkness is surrounding your life. Dylan, I'm going to let you take this. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> no, I'm playing. No, that's not jokes. I'm sorry. Um... No, I mean, you're talking about faith. 
Yeah. Keep in faith, bro. Even when everything in your life is dark right now, bro. When nothing is promised, everything is going to shit, everything is being broken, you're being heartbroken, or you lost your job, whatever the fucking case it is, I feel you like still got to wake up with, with a smile and hope. I feel like that's the definition of faith. Because if you don't go through turbulence, you don't go through freaking hardships in your life, mm. there's no faith. Because you have to go through that to have faith. But the thing about faith is that it's blind. That's the thing about faith. Yo, y'all going wild in this room? God damn. <laughs> Bro, talk this shit. Talk that shit, Dylan. The thing about faith is that it's blind. The thing about faith that is that it's blind. And you never see the end of the tunnel. You just know it's there. Mm. You know? Having faith is knowing that you're going to reach a certain place without it even seeing it, you know? And what was that for you? Personally, I took this leap to this podcast. We took this leap into this podcast with faith. Now, everybody, for everybody listening right now in all three angles, we everybody has heard me talk about my struggles in my life and, and what I've been going through. But what no one understands is... There is a person that is sitting right next to me and most of the time in front of me holding me up from a lot of shit that I've gone through in my own life and my own personal experience that he doesn't get enough credit for, even though the world is on his fucking shoulders. We all have that one friend. We all have that one person in our life that has has the world on their shoulders and still takes on you to help you out before they help themselves out. That's what this guy next to me is. That's why this guy besides me is. So when someone says, how does that work? Mm, that's my brother. We're not blood related, but we're related. That's my brother. So people don't know you losing faith. People don't know that you were blind. People don't know that, that, that you were in darkness. Talk about that. To be honest, for y'all that don't know, I started, you can say I started this year off in darkness. There you go. You know, I had I had a heartbreak, you can say. Um, the only happy memories, the only happy moments I've had this year is the podcast. And not only with the people from the podcast, my happiness and my memories from this year is like feeling satisfied and good is being with this dude. Because that's my brother right there. And for y'all don't that for y'all that don't know, and maybe Robbie knows because he's my cousin, he's he's family. My year started off shit. It went good with the podcast, and it's ending right now in shit. I'm literally. For y'all don't know that I'm literally in a dark place right now. I'm putting myself in a position where. I'm helping others without even helping myself. Um, I I've been helping other people throughout the whole year without looking for myself. And if it wasn't for Dusko right here on my left, to be honest, I would have I lost sight of myself because he keeps me grounded. He's like, yo, put yourself first. You know, sometimes you have to be selfish on things, bro, because uh, someone would hit me up, hey, yo, I need this. Can you help me out with this? And the way my parents raised me is exactly the way I am right now. Um, they are very helping people. They're very nice people. And he knows it, and he's experienced it firsthand. We don't have much to give, but we give what we, what we have, you know? And shit, if, if I have to sleep in the couch, a homeboy has to sleep in my bed, I, I'm down for it, bro, you know? And if I have to share my room with Eric right here, if I have to share my room with anyone... Bro, go for it. My bed is, is not yours. I'll sleep in the floor. I'll sleep in the couch. But I just want you to feel comfortable. I want you to feel good. And that's one thing I've learned about this year, bro. And that's the best lesson I've actually learned this year. To save yourself before you start saving others. You know? Mm -hmm. And like you said it before, sometimes it pays off and sometimes it's good to be selfish. Because if you put others in, f in front of you, you're always going to be second. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that self-respect to put yourself first, mm -hmm. you know. And 
like I said, that's what I learned this year. You know, sometimes you got to put yourself first in order to get to where you want to be to help others. Yeah. And I think Chris said, you know, Chris said, if you're drowning, yeah. you first have to put your, your lifeguard on before you help yeah. others. You got to think about it. And um, shout out Chris, bro. I, I love you, bro. I love you to death. You are my dude. You are, you are family. Um, one of those things was, and what he is saying is, if the plane crashes, right, and you always have those life jackets, say it crashes in the ocean, whatever it is, you're trying to save everybody on that airplane because their life matters. But if you don't put yours on first, you're going to drown before you get to third, fourth, fifth person. So what that resembles is, is, in, is in life. If you don't take care of yourself, you cannot take care of anybody else. Me and him have talked about this, and I've always said it. If you don't take care of you, you cannot take care of anybody else. What's that same light everybody says? Bro, I got you. Bro, I got your back. Bro, whatever you need, I got you. True. Bro, you don't even have yourself. How the fuck are you going to take care of me? And I, I, I want to say in the most unapologetic way, be selfish, take care of you first, and then give. You giving will allow you to feel a satisfaction in your life that you're serving a bigger purpose. But, yo, if you don't take care of your own things back at home, back in your own head, bro, what are you doing? Right? When you're lonely, no one as we I posted this today. The the loneliest, saddest, most vulnerable person is the person that smiles every day for everybody else. But when they're home by themselves, they're the most saddest. They are crying. They are yelling to themselves. What is life? That goes into, are you taking care of you? Are you taking care of what is at home, what is inside? And if you're not, bro, you're going to have more of those nights. And the more and the more you have of those nights, the less and less you want to fight because you're just tired. So we're here to tell you, time to take care of you. Time to be selfish. Time to be that big dude. Time to be that that strong woman. Take care of you. You don't need nobody else. Take care of you first. Then you can lean on everybody else because they will help you. People will go off your energy. If you just come with that energy of complaining, complaining about the same thing over and over and over, people get tired because they know you don't want to help yourself. Help yourself first and then everybody else is willing to help you. And then it goes to the next thing. Nipsey Hussle said it. I only, I don't want everything. I want what is mine. If today we got a thousand and on the table there's a thousand and one, I'm only taking a thousand, but I'm not taking 9,999. No, no, no. I'm not taking 999. I'm taking my 1,000. Nothing less, nothing more. I earn what I've earned. Nothing less, nothing more. I'm taking what is rightfully mine. I know that I put in the work. There was a there was a famous video that of uh, there's there's other podcasts. I don't know from where. Shout out those dudes, and they were like, "You want to get rewarded like a million bucks, but your work ethic work ethic is a penny." Talk that shit. Some people want that raise in that manager position, but you're working like if you're just the guy bagging them, barely even getting carts, not doing anything, calling off work, not going into work. Don't, Making every excuse ever in the book. Exactly. Don't don't be disappointed. And don't even feel sorry for yourself if you don't put that work in, you know? Because mm. most people, like you say, they complain. Yes, and sir. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I've complained myself. But either he catches me or I catch myself, you know? And it's like, bro, a lot of people complain. A lot of people just feel sorry for themselves and this and that. Yeah. But... Like I said since the beginning, they put just the bare minimum in. Mm -hmm. What are you going to get if you put the bare minimum? Minimum, minimum reaction. back. Yes, sir. You know? And a lot of people are so satisfied with that that they're like, oh, okay, I put the bare minimum in. I'm going to get the bare minimum back. Yeah. You know? They don't want to go that extra mile. And that percentage that puts that extra mile is the people that you see with the million-dollar cars. People that are famous, people that are this, people that are that, you know? And to be honest, it's not easy. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy to put that extra mile in, that extra hard work, those extra hours, yep. that extra, I don't know, if you sell stuff, those extra packaging, you know, shipping, whatever you do. 
you got to be willing to do what others ain't want to do. Exactly. There you go. You got to be willing to go. do what others ain't want to do. Or oh, you're tired. Okay, I'm tired too, but I'm going to work. Oh, you're sick. Okay, I'm sick too, but I'm still going to get my ass up to work. Oh, you don't want to post today? Well, fuck it. I will post today. Guess what, homie? You ain't tired, bro. You're just not motivated. Exactly. And you if are you're not tired, you're just not motivated. And if you're not motivated, stay consistent. Your consistency will keep you motivated. Hey, hey this is so Sheesh. This is what happens at 1.30 in the morning, almost 2 o'clock. I was about, it's 2 o'clock, yes. Yeah. And, and, and we're writing this, bro. And, and the thing about this whole thing is this is a self-reflection of what has just happened throughout the year. <sighs> Look, let me tell you something, guys. When we hit Duno, it was a movie. Shout out Angela that yeah. came here. You know, shout out. I, I do want to shout out. Uh, I do have Gallo Fino hat brand. But, Robbie, do you mind getting in the closet? There's a Dandy Hats one in there for favor. It, you can go in the front of the camera, fool. Relax. This isn't a professional podcast. While, 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 Robbie, while Robbie's getting the, something from the closet real quick. I mean, being out of the closet. I mean. Well, the, it should be a white one over there. Um. Open the food. Yeah, there, there's that one, and then no, open good. open the closet. There's a there's a other one over there. Cap. Yes, sir. Hey, there we go. There it what is. That one. Okay, I'll get both. I'll get both. So there's shout out my my dude. Everybody that sees me wear hats, bro. My dude. This one's got a big old head. Miss. <laughs> Mr. Dandy Hats, bro, my dude, my boy Leo, my boy Leo Sandoval, never forgetting his story, never forgetting where where we both grew up, went to the same high school and everything, and my boy is flourishing, 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 flourishing in his business. I love that for him. And um, the thing about this whole this whole thing, and I don't even know where I was going, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shift. Excuse me, Dandy. Never made an excuse. Continued. Worked another job. Worked with at his dad's restaurant and showed up. Took a chance on himself. And that guy's making amazing, changing the world in the hat game. I just got off the phone earlier with my guy from baseball at Meekis. Had a had a salary job at a top notch construction job. Four months in, never looking back in his life. Oh. Mm, coming, he's heavy. Hey, my, my every, everybody, everybody that we've met have like changed our life. To my point, is it is all motherfucking possible if you just put the fucking work into it. Stop making excuses. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling bad for the next person or the other person. Worry about you and where you want to be in the next year, two, three, four, five years. No one else gives a fuck. No one else cares if you're. A millionaire or if you're stuck in the same place. If you're stuck in the same place in three years, you did them a favor. Now they can talk about how you didn't do it. But if you flourish, they get to talk about, oh, shit, look at him. Now he's, look at her. He's, exactly. But we, someone told us, you don't know what, what are you going to do for the 100th episode? I don't know. I got to get there. We have to get there I got to get there. Hopefully. I don't know if we will get there, but we're here now, and this is like episode 80-something, 80 89, I don't know. Hopefully, like we said, bro, we got to be grateful for the small things we have. Yes. Hopefully, we wake up tomorrow, I'll tell you that. that that's the biggest blessing. We take a lot of stuff for granted. We're, we're about to make this a, a faithful-ass podcast. <laughs> it, a spiritual as We're not here without the power above. Exactly. Yeah. We are here because we survived and because the power above allowed us to. You know, the biggest thing about us is uh, I'm my guy is here. And I told him at three in the morning when we had a moment. That he is here for a reason and he is here because. The power above said you're not done yet in this world. You're here to enjoy your life. You're here to flourish in life. You're here to find your purpose. He's 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 told me that many times. Bro. And I. I I haven't I haven't told anyone this, and I'm smiling because it's just like I have no other way to cope with it. But I'm smiling just because. But I haven't even told him this, and I trust him with my freaking life. And 
I was so low in life. So, so deep and lost with myself, with life, overwhelming at, what was it, 20 years old. I tried to take my own life away, bro. I, 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 I said, fuck it. Um, I had nowhere to go. I had nothing to do. Um, my parents have always been very, very good parents. And I just, I felt like I had no other way to, do, to go, bro. And I haven't shared this story at all. I have I have not shared this story at all with anyone, but um there's this guy in high school that he would sell um Percocets. I don't know if y'all know that what those are. I went to a liquor store across my, my house to get a four locos, which uh, you obviously know what that is. I hit this dude up on Snapchat because that's the only that's the only <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the only that's the only place he was uh, selling those things. <laughs> I find it funny nowadays because it's like, bro, I was stupid, but the the thing, like you said, the power above whatever power you believe in, has kept me here. I bought I bought a great amount of pills from him. I went to go get myself four locos. I got in bed. I had a dog. I still have a dog, but I put my dog next to me. I took six of those damn pills. I finished the whole damn four locals. And I laid down to sleep. Hoping I would not wake up the next day. The only thing I had close to me, the only thing I had loving was my dog. And my parents were not, my parents did not agree with my dog, but... What they don't know is that I got that dog for a reason because I wasn't feeling loved. I wasn't there. And I needed something emotionally. And I woke up the next fucking day. Somehow I ended up woke up the next fucking day. I looked over because off of that whole four locals, I got drunk. I woke up the next day. I threw up. I looked over at the can. It was an Arizona can, bro. How? <laughs> I don't fucking know. That was an Arizona can, bro. It was a freaking mango Arizona can. I have no fucking idea how the hell that happened. And guess what I threw up, bro? Try the, the <laughs> stupidest shit I threw up. Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, I, I did say the stupidest <laughs> shit. Bro, I threw up lifesavers, bro. I made sure I did my research that fucking night that this dude doesn't scam me. I bought those fucking Percocets off this film. I fucking <laughs> literally had them in my hand. They did not look like lifesavers at all. Tuck them, open the four locals, down that shit. Woke up the next fucking morning for some damn reason, bro. The Four Locals was a freaking Arizona can. Oh, boy. That has been <laughs> fucking me up here since <laughs> since that day, bro. But, um. And like you said, bro, I had a reason to be here. Yes, There's sir. There's a reason why that happened. Yes, sir. I have no explanation <laughs> whatsoever for that. Let me, let, me, let me say this now. You don't know what the reason was why that happened. And this is on podcast. This is going to be on YouTube, on Apple, Spotify, TikTok, everywhere. Everywhere you want to find this, it's on there. You don't know why you woke up or why that happened or why you were in this world. I know we're going to pause it after this because it's going to be a little emotional roller coaster, but you were in this world because, fool, you saved my life. And if you weren't here when I needed you this year, I don't know if this would be happening. I don't know if I would be here. I don't know if we would be here at one thirty in the morning recording this. So your purpose in life was... To save people. And I was one of those people. 
And now the rest of the people that you've been saving have been listening to us, been listening to you the last year. That's why we're here. And this is why people be, come into your life for a certain reason. Not like there's pe the right people that come into your life and then there's those wrong people that come into your life to teach you something. And then there's those people that come into your life and, man, I didn't know you would mean this much to me. This is why he's here and this is why we've been writing fucking hard the last year. And he was a witness to... Both of these guys were here, San Diego, right? We all went to San Diego a couple weeks ago to meet Mike, to to meet up again with Chris, to meet Gino for the first time. A shout out, Mondo. And this last time, me and Dylan went to uh, to San Diego for the toy drive. We're gonna put that vlog out. And by the time this comes out, it should already be ready. Um, I literally. Hugged Chris outside of this, and I hope he sees this and hears this. As I hugged Chris and I told him, yo, you have no idea how much you saved my life. And it's one of those things that I don't know what would I, what my status in my mind would have been. And I'm still going to be here, but it would have been in a dark place. I hugged him, and I said, you have no idea. So I hugged him, and I started crying. And I'm laughing. I'm like, fool, I don't know what the fuck, why I'm laughing. I don't know what's going on. But just know that your life and per your life and your purpose in this life is a lot bigger than you ever imagined. It's not about helping people get stronger. It's not about helping people get in shape. It's about helping people find their purpose and finding that safe zone to be themselves and to possibly, God willing, save their own life. So if you're having, again, if you're having that fucking doubt, if you're having that if moment, if you're having that what if moment? What if today is the day? What if today is the day I'm not here? What if today is the day I make this happen? Take a breath. Listen up. You are worthy. You are. You do matter. You are loved. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are strong. You are everything in this world can offer. Take that one more step because I promise you, it may not be in the first week. It may not be in the first day. It may not be in the first month. But you will find your purpose in this world and why you came up. Why God kept you here one more time. The power above doesn't keep you here if he doesn't want you to. There's people that we've all lost that have been called up a lot sooner than we anticipated for whatever the reason he had. And I've always said it. He may just needed them a lot faster than we did and more than we did. But if we're here today, it's for a bigger purpose. Serve your purpose. Be yourself. Love yourself. And to be honest, man, be you. Ain't no one can be better than being you than you yourself. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you see this, no matter how you try to move things around, that it doesn't work out, bro. It does not work out. And no matter how deep and dark that you feel, no matter how deep in that hole you feel, how lost you feel, how lonely you feel, don't be afraid to ask for help. Hmm. Do not be afraid to ask for help. It's nothing bad. I don't give a fuck what society says about asking for help, that it's weak, that it's this, that it's that. Yes, sir. This is your life on the line. Yes, sir. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you don't have family members around you, you have friends. If you don't have friends, look what we have here. We have social media. We have a lot of people. A lot of people we don't know that are showing that mad don't love, know bro. They can support you. Showing mad love. You know, you're like he said, you're loved. You're amazing. Take a deep breath. Ask for help. Yes, sir. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Asking for help is not weak. It's just showing that you're willing to do something for yourself. And getting help is the best way you can get, you can do for yourself right there. So. Damn. That's yeah. All right. Man, 2022, what can we say, bro? We just, we've been through a whole emotional roller coaster throughout the journey since January 1st to right now. 
Sorry, sorry to interrupt, bro. I just I just want to butt in real quick. What's your What's your favorite memory of 2022? Ooh, podcast related. Podcast related. Like, do do I gotta like put them in like? Do I get options or just like one moment? Your three top moments. Uh top moment. First one's for sure. Uh, San Diego. Uh, uh, two weeks ago. Okay. So December. When did we go? This no first last weekend of November. It was 25th, Thanksgiving weekend. 25th. 25th, 26th. Yes. That weekend. That for sure is number one right now. Second one, uh, I'm going to put it in the books, was Cisco, meeting Francisco. Okay. And third one, it should be higher, but because I know it was, ah, damn, I can't do this. Fuck. <laughs> Ah, man, top five. I got to do top five. I'm sorry. The, All right. the, the interviewees being interviewed. So, so number one, like this. number one, San Diego. Number two is Dre and Gage. Oh, dude, that was Dre nice. and Gage. Those are, that's my number two. Uh, third one is Cisco. Fourth is, I, I do want to say Jorge. And Adri, because they're amazing people, and shout out to Jorge and Adri. Invited, invited to Jalisco. I'll be there. I'm not gonna be, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to be there. But you take a shot for me. And the uh, the fifth one is everybody else, bro. <laughs> like that from Duno to Tony, Duno and Tony, amazing motherfuckers. And every like you know, I, I'm not gonna shed out everybody else. We had Leo. We had Cynthia, we had Magali, we had um, Rosecrans Vic, we had Jakarta, we we had just Gino and Chris, we had Mike, we had who else at the beginning? Uh, off the top of my head, the beginning of we had we had AJ um, coming in. Oh, AJ! Damn, who else did we have, bro? So many that we have. To be honest. It's, it's not that we forget about y'all. It's we lose track because we have so much on our minds. Nah, watch. Pull, pull up on, on YouTube real quick. Well, while he pulls it up, uh, I'll say my top three. Um, The first one, the first one, I think it would be Cisco's podcast. Oh, Angelitos. Angelitos, yes. That was Gotta a freaking good one. Got to give a shout out to. Shout out to Angelito. I don't know where you are. You're probably partying right now. And <laughs> you, do, just, do you, bro? You got this. He lives in Coachella. <laughs> Estoy en Coachella. But uh, hopefully one day yeah. we go to Coachella. I have never been you, to Coachella. You mind if I see the, the YouTube page? Oh, oh, Izzy, Izzy. <laughs> Mr. Izzy. All right. Let me. Um, I think the first, my first, my, like my top moment would be Cisco's. Because mm -hmm. I think that was, if I'm, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But I think that was the first time I co hosted with you. Yeah, you that, did. That was, I was that was the first time. I was confident enough, confident enough to be in front of the camera because I'm. It's not that I'm not confident. It's just I'm a very shy guy and I don't like to be in front of the camera. I like to back. be behind the camera. And from that podcast back, I was the one handling everything in the background. Facts. Shout but, out! Shout out! Uh, who who was there? Ike and Ashley and Genesis. Yes. Shout out to those three. Yeah, I love you guys. I love Sometimes. You guys. Sometimes. 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 Ike, Ike, I need those uh, adult Capri Suns ASAP. Never hit us <laughs> up. But um, second one would be San Diego. That same, uh, that same Thanksgiving weekend, we had a we had a blast. Um, not talking about anything else, like outside partying, nothing. <laughs> it was just the relationship we had with Chris, the relationship we had with Mike, with G, with G Money. Yeah. Um. Bro, it was kind of like we knew each other, but yeah. it, it's like we were dissing this whole time, and we were just Man, meant to be together, it you know? Yeah. It's like the vibes were just straight off the bat. It was just amazing. The third one would be, I think the third one would be the first time you and I did the podcast back in wow, West Covina. Dude. You motherfucker. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not. I thought you were talking about this year. That was that was this year, no? No, that oh, was last year. Sheesh. Okay, never, bro. I have no idea. I'm telling you. I've okay, been so on. from this year, what's your third one then? From this year, <sighs> damn. Everybody else. No, hold up. No, my third one, which was 
Dude, I couldn't stop laughing in this freaking podcast. Jakarta. Jakarta, my guy. Yo, Jakarta, this dude, we had to cut off like a lot of the video because I was laughing 24-7. Like he was, was having a, a normal conversation ever. and I was over here laughing. Like I would move the microphone just so I can laugh so damn loud. It's just Jakarta, my boy. We have to kick it soon, dog. We have right. to kick it soon. So for if you're listening to this, if you've been on the podcast or if you've been a fan of us and supporter of us, I do want to shout out everybody that we had this year. And we did kick off the year very great, actually. We have short term memory loss. I'm sorry. But Derek from Los Homies. Oh, Derek. Congratulations on your fucking success, brother. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Keep fucking doing your thing. Keep uh, that shit up. Keep that we shit had Eyes Lamar right after. Antoine from The Cause. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. David and Veronica from House of Games. Shout hey. out Oxnard, Yo. baby. We have, yes. to go, we have to go second yes. round on, on that workout. Big entrepreneur who I'm I'm gonna shout out, I'm gonna say it right now. Tell me a little about a now now see. Tell me about that. Um Aubrey and Cindy. We had that episode out there. And then Adam, Mr. Hidden Strength hey, out there. Yo. And then we did have a QA for the title. I'm glad you didn't get swallowed. <laughs> did we have that yeah, one? Yeah, it was me, you, Aubrey and Cindy. We made that happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true. And then Mr. Aldo from, bro, one of the best barbershops in Baldwin Park. Daily Planet, bro. Appreciate you. We He's had some fire stuff. He's got one, some fire of, stuff. one of our affiliates, one of our, our, our sponsors, I want to say, one of our sponsors and brothers from Pure Games, Mr. Ponce and Andrew. Oh, oh my God. I think I have and a Pulido. Ponce here. and Pulido, it's in the living room. Oh, I had my I had the the pure game sweater, bro. I love you guys' shit. Alan Walters, Jason, owner of South Main Hollywood, yes, sir. Gabriella, your that episode is the one that got our video viral with. Mm-hmm. I do cry. Uh, Mr. Danny has for the second time out yes, there in sir. your in your shop, bro. Then Mr. Duno from there, we had Michelle. Shout out Michelle. Favorite barista, favorite in and out worker who is now in her truth and serving her you. purpose. We love you, Michelle. Ah, uh, what the Come hell? On. Andrew Jacobs, Darian. We had the Sombrero Ranch. We had Amanda. Shout out Amanda. Cynthia, Chris, Alma. Shout out Alma. Uh, we had Gage, Dre, Amanda, Adriana, Amy. Shout out Poder. Cisco, Katie and Chris, South Made Hollywood, Brian, musician, singer, my friend, Mr. Rosecrans Vic, Izzy Official, Geraldine Moreno, uh, Angelito. From there we had our uh we had our Halloween special. That was wild. <laughs> that was funny that as was shit. Freaking wild. Mr. Leo Gonzalez, Mr. Yes, Tony, sir. love you, brother. Uh we we did have Dominique come bartend for us. And we had that episode out. To be honest, those were the best Palomas I've ever had. Super, I'm not going to lie. Super bomb. And it's not that I'm hyping you up or anything, but dude, those were... Dude, I chucked that shit in the first one. Shout, shout out Jakarta, Chris, Gino, Armando for that episode, Mike. And then there's there's this. There's this that we're in right now. And without all those episodes, and honestly, even the ones before that, right? Because it goes into... We have I, one more, no? I mean, uh, there's, not, there's not out there, but we have it recorded. Yeah, we have it recorded, but coming out to the next year, maybe. Just depends on how we do things. Uh, it's going to be up. But even from previous, Alejandra, AJ, Elise, Mr. Picasso, Aubrey, uh, Glow Hayes, Jackie, Jaquez, Ariel, Jocelyn, uh, <laughs> we... Prudence, Amber, Ashley, everybody, Justin, Dandy, Gabby, everybody, if you were here at the house, at the apartment, you've been a part of this, a part of this all, part of this journey, and honestly, so you can have your phone back, fools, you can text whoever you want to text back. <laughs> um, For everybody listening, this is my appreciation to all of y'all, because without every single one of you, this would not be able to... It would not be possible. Um, I don't know where this goes. I don't know what happens in 2023 just yet. We have we have some visions for 2023. Bro. So. Yeah. Um, 
Damn. Oh shit! I didn't if, know. If if twenty twenty two we went this hard, yeah. Just imagine what we can do next year, big guy. Just, just know that every one of you guys. Someone have asked me, why don't you go to therapy? Why don't you go? You know, talk to someone. This is my therapy. Here I am talking to everybody. Here I am sharing my story, sharing our story, and everybody else's that been a part of this. Because of all y'all, because of you guys, every single one of you guys. We have stood tall. We have walked the walk. We have our ten toes down, and we're waking up with a purpose every single day of our life since we started this in L.A. And without y'all, this would have not been possible. Mm, but be- before we finish this, and I know we said thank you to all the people that were in the podcast. We have not given the flowers to the man that started this shit. Who's that for? Don't, don't hide my guy. Don't hide. We have, n- well, personally, I have given you the flowers personally. And I'm going to give you the oh. flowers again right now. Because if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for your drive, your vision, you reaching out to me and telling me what you said earlier, A, hey, this would have not happened. Yeah. And it's crazy. Let me tell you right now, I know I've been a big, big part of this. People that have been on the podcast have been a part of this. But you did this shit, bro. And you're doing this shit, my guy. You sacrificed uh, You sacrificed a shitload of things to do this, my guy. You sacrificed way too much to get that, that you had to. And like you said, this is going to pay off. You know, this uh, is going to pay off. It's been paying off now, to be honest, in a different way of aspect. Um, but anybody listening, bro, if you're not obsessive with your fucking journey and your vision, then maybe that's not it, bro. And shit, to not get emotional, to not, you know, giving my kudos to m- to my right hand man, to my partner, to my everything ne- next to me, and everybody watching, everybody that's been supporting, everybody that's been subscribing, liking, sharing, saving. Without y'all. 2022 would have not been that amazing. And because exactly. it's been fucking amazing. Oh, damn. We're taking out the big daddy. We're taking out the big daddy for today's pod. He's going to have um, to carry me to the couch. If, <laughs> if, if you've been a, a, a follower or if you've gone all the way back to the beginning when this was in West Covina at the apartment counter in the back, we had all these bottles lined up and blah, blah, blah. This now comes out only when we celebrated, and here we are celebrating 2022. So when you're listening to this, you are a couple days away from 2023. Don't make yourself the victim. Make yourself the star in your own story. It is a journey. It is a beautiful journey. It may not pay off right now, but it soon will. But you got to put in the work. Um, You just... You know, you just I can't breathe, 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 breathe. Cameo, give me a shot. Give me a shot. Look at this. Let's hey, yeah. go. Rob, Rob, just pass me, pass me the monster, y'all. I'm a, I'm a gag in this. <sighs> Look at this, for, for y'all, For y'all that don't know, I am not a tequila drinker. Don't fill that bitch up. There it is. I am a whiskey drinker, and you guys might say whiskey is stronger You're, than this, but it just has a different. My drink. homie Rob right here, too. That's my cousin Rob. <sighs> There we go, baby. <laughs> Buenas noches after this, but no, we're on live on everybody, bro. Ricky, what is up, bro? What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. This is, I thought it was Reposado. I thought it was Blanco. What the? It's Reposado. I thought all it was right. Blanco this whole time. You're, you're recording this because you're going to tag us on all these pages. No, your phone, fool. All right, so this is, you want to say anything? I want to end this, but you want to say anything? <sighs> I just want to say... Again, thank you for the people that reposted us. Thank you for the people that have supported us. Thank you so much. We're literally nothing without you guys. I want to also say that I'm proud of everything you have done this year, bro. Love you. Thank you for everything you've done for me, for yourself, for everyone around you. And I hope, I hope, I hope that one day 
we can fucking be the voice for everyone in, that in this world that has no voice. And we can be that vessel for the people that don't have a voice. Obviously, we have gone through some stuff, but there's people that have gone through even worse stuff. And I just hope one day our podcast will be out there, not for the numbers, not for the money, but for the people that it has to reach. Yeah. And I just want to say I love you, big guy. I fucking love you, bro. Hell, motherfucking yeah, bro. This is how we ending it, bro. Giving the flowers to my right hand man, my brother, the my my savior without even knowing, and everything that I could have asked for in a best friend, in my right like through thick and thin. This is a dude that blindly trusted me, trusted this, and if you don't have those type of people around you, go switch up right now. You need those type of people around you. But for everybody watching, listening. Subscribing, liking, sharing, saving whatever video you are saving, using the audio you are using, and it is us. It is our voice. I am so thankful and proud of every single one of y'all because without you guys, you guys have been a part of this movement. And either you join the movement or you watch us move. Oh, That's point blank. Join the movement or watch us move. This is a Tulsa Life podcast. We are not changing up. We are who we are. 2022 was ours. 2023, we coming to get it again. Yes, sir. This is it. Tulsa Life, baby. Y'all know how we do. Make sure you guys have a happy new year. Let's have a good one.